Folks, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today, for clicking on this video, for listening to what I have to say. It is wonderful that we have this time here together. I could not be here without you and you wouldn't be here without me. So we've got this kind of mutual friendship thing going on and I'm very grateful for that. I wanna talk about 2018. We're here in December of 2018. It's a beautiful winter's morning. The mist is slowly burning off. The birds are singing, the river's flowing and I'm filled with joy because I'm outside. But the new chapters of 2019 are set to begin very soon. Now, that blank space can seem intimidating, daunting, perhaps even quite overwhelming. But let's just take this time to pause. Let's breathe. And let's remind ourselves of what a beautiful gift it is to have this life and how fortunate we are to have this opportunity. Let's seek to embrace it and fill that space with joy, with passion and with adventure, but also with a level of courage and self-care that inspires and gives permission to others to step out and live the lives that they were meant to live. Let's jump in wholeheartedly, regardless of the fear. So, 2018 then. Oh my word, what a year. <laughs> it has been amazing that I've been able to share it with you through film. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of films that will be released from this year, next year. But let's just pull back a minute and let's talk about what we've done, where we've been, what have we seen. I've journeyed a very long way, thousands of miles, in fact, along trails all around the country and landed myself looking at views that have absolutely blown my mind. My heart is in my mouth. Oh gosh, look at that view. Oh gosh, this landscape, oh my word, is just beyond, beyond words. This really is a wonderful part of the country and I feel honestly so privileged to be able to be here. Look at this view, <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, this is amazing. The sun and the river and the views, there is no better combination than this. Along the way, there have been some extreme highs where I felt invincible on top of the world and enjoyed moments I've never wanted to end. Inevitably, they did, but I now have those memories to treasure for the rest of my life and the footage to share with you guys. So this is just making my heart skip for joy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> How amazing is this? Wow! That is insane! The hills are alive with the sound of Abby making a noise! <laughs> Feeling on top of the world right now. Just rounded the corner. And guess what's coming to view? Whew. We're going up there, people. It's a bit windy. <laughs> oh, man. Check it out. Whew. Yes. Now this is why people wild camp. Look at that sun coming up. I really can't get enough of it up here. It's just spectacular. Sometimes I'm such a child. Can you see the face on this tree? <laughs> it's like there's his mouth and his eye and it's like very bushy eyebrows. So I'm a professional backpacker. This is what we do when no one's watching. <laughs> I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. <laughs> there have also been some real battles. I've struggled with my mental health both on and off the trail, which has sometimes led me into really dangerous situations. But alongside that, even when I've been doing fine, I've generally spent a lot of time feeling cold, wet, tired, and just generally fed up. That was some seriously hard walking. 
probably some of the most painful miles I have done backpacking in a long time. Help! I think I've just put my pack down in the biggest patch of flying ants I've ever seen. But what happens when you don't enjoy it? Then I'm like, well, why am I here? <laughs> and I, I'm here because, you know, I struggle with mental health a lot. <laughs> and it does my head in sometimes. <laughs> oh, struggling with mental health it takes the joy out of so many things. And basically that's what's going on now is because I'm tired, my head's just in a bit of turmoil and I've not got the mental resilience to catch that. But thankfully, it has been you guys and the friends I've made on the trail who have encouraged me to keep putting one foot in front of the other. I can honestly say I value every step that I've taken, regardless of how comfortable or uncomfortable it has felt. And I've loved living in the anticipation of not knowing what's around the next corner or what the next day will bring. Take care. You have a wonderful yeah. day. Yeah. Ho hopefully we'll, we'll bump I might bump, I might see you tomorrow. I've got yeah. two miles to catch you up. You yeah. Will. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I just wanted a long distance. But then it would have been probably just on demand. Yes. Yeah. What's that thing called? There's a yeah. thing yeah. where you move And he's between. Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's proper undulating. Yeah. You've done really well. So you took what you thought were paths. Yeah. And then they petered out. They're like shoot tracks, And then you yeah. were worried that you... And then catch the path and turn right. Turn right, yeah. And then you're right in the path of... The oh, earth. that sounds nice. Yeah, I could use that. Come here, beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, you're friendly. Hi, chicken. Don't peck me. Are you friendly? Oh, you are. Hello, gorgeous. I walked through one of the hottest summers on record, witnessing melting tarmac, droughts on Dartmoor, and shimmering mountain heat. I've just got something to show you if I can do this without getting run over. Look at the tarmac. It's literally melting. It's really sticky. Man, this is insanely tough in this heat. I can just feel myself burning. Made it to Kirby Stephen. Day five, done. I climbed a ridiculous number of gates and styles. Lots of wobbly fences today. <laughs> Oh, dear me. There we go. Gotta love these things. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Complete with sound effects. Ooh, there's a treat. Over the style. Not convinced I'm gonna fit. Uh, I'll just stay here then. Nope. Oh, these gates are too tight. 
across countless bridges of all shapes and sizes. I witnessed awe-inspiring wildlife and views that I'll never forget. <laughs> there you go, look, we got you off. Oh, you're gorgeous. Should we let you go? All right, all right. Go on, now. Yay! <laughs> so this beautiful little caterpillar is a fox moth caterpillar and you often find them here on the coast. They're really soft. Oh, I'm sorry, don't be scared. I love finding them, but uh, we'll go put him back in some gorse now. There's a seal, there's a seal just down there. He's just chilling out. <laughs> I drank lots of tea and coffee at pubs and cafes all around the country. Homemade cake and tea. And of course, I said hi to nearly every single dog that I passed. Turns out I cannot resist their waggly tails and smiley faces. <laughs> Adventures with. Hello! You little pup. <laughs> you having a nice time? Say hello. Down the hill, are you? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> having a nice walk. Hey, lovely. You're beautiful. The trail has taught me many things this year, from learning how to embrace the journey and stay open to the experience, to chasing beauty in the ordinary, and sharing my most authentic and vulnerable self so that I can compassionately meet others on their path to wholeness. Perhaps most importantly, I've been reminded of what it means to thrive and live in a way that partners my mind, my body and my soul so that I can step out and be the best version of myself. So then for me, the trail, the way, it's just reminding me that actually, yeah, this is my home. This is where I belong. This is where I thrive. And I just need to be open to that. I don't need to push it. I just need to embrace the journey to take each day and to be open. You know, it feels really good. It's so freeing to just know that all I have to do is be me and nobody else. And I can do that. And then that way I'll have the impact that I'm supposed to have during my life on this planet. Thank you with all that I am for following my films this year. I hope in some small way you've been inspired to don your walking boots, to head outside and to spend more time in the wild. And if not, don't worry, there's plenty more to come in 2019. See you then.
university gonna rename this mountain peak of hope because even if you have a cotton grass seeds worth of hope you can keep moving to the top of your mountain <laughs>